Well, Kevin, what did you find then uh, when, you, when you were looking at the sample and you actually found some, some tissue? Okay, here's what we found. Here we have a piece of the horn that has been decalcified, like what I just showed you over on the bench. Mark Armitage was our microscopist working on this. And Mark then took a piece of the decalcified horn and put it under a microscope. See the fibrous material there? That's part of the composition of the bone matrix itself. But what's really of interest is see the white material here on the surface swaying back and forth? That, that's actual dinosaur tissue on the surface. See, this is not a solid fossil. This has got tissue characteristic to it. See, notice how it flexes back. And that's, of course, very interesting, how you pull on it, flexes back, pull on it, flexes back. That's characteristic of tissue. That's what tissue would do. Now, Mark then was able to extract some very thin layers of elastic material away from the inner core of the horn. But he didn't have to decalcify the horn in order to do this. You can see it's stretchy, it's flexible. In fact, look, notice, see how it's stretching? It's stretching almost to twice its original size of what it was. See, this again is original dinosaur tissue that he's peeled directly from the fossil. There was no decalcification that he did first. See, this is how accessible this tissue was. He didn't have to remove any fossilized bone to get to this tissue. Okay, now, here is a light microscope picture of the tissue itself. You can see the texture of it. And in fact, see, notice the arrows, they're pointing to cells. These cells specifically are what we call osteocytes. Those are bone cells. They're involved in making bone because even though we think a bone is a rock, bone is tissue. Bone is not a rock. Mm -hmm. In fact, in our bodies, bone is replaced about every 10 years to keep it all fresh and the new matrix laid down and such. So it, it's constantly being changed and that's what those cells do. And if you look at them then at a closer magnification, well, we see then this is using scanning electron microscopy. You see the extreme detail of the cells. See how well that's preserved. It I is. mean, that doesn't speak for something that has been degrading or something that has just been in a non-pristine condition mm -hmm. for 65, yes. 70 million years. Mm -hmm. We would not expect, begin to expect to see such enormous and elaborate detail. I mean, these structures are incredibly small. You know, this is our 20 micron bar here. See how small these structures are, still intact. And yet, see that kind of detail, then obviously the preservation process is surprising really to everybody. Yeah. But I think as, as creationists, we have a lot less to explain than someone trying to suggest that this is, you know, 65, 70 million years of age.